I did have a whole write up here ready to go. Uh, C. Jason, the man of the origin of the team. Callan, with uh, both previously of ironic, also with Captain Will, previously of Chaos and Rampage Jail Graham, previously of Morse Morse, as we get started now. And away they go. And we have a win by Milk on the Jowls, but now picked up by Gilligan, but stolen quickly by Captain Will. Captain Will, uh, under pressure, gets a pass over to CJ. Jason. CJ Jason hands off to J.L. Graham, and then headbutted out of his hands by Gilligan. J.L. Graham does get it in for the two as the goalie comes out to challenge him. And a good goal there by the team of Milk in their first game of BRML together as a team. And I'm not currently looking at chat. And a hello, not Zucks, Zesper, and Lanzen. But now Wireless Shax with the Joust advantage. Shax coming out. Will I am with the disc. Will I am. Quick pass over to Gilligan on station. Gilligan looking down at the trench to Blitz. Does connect. Blitz moving in one-on-one -on, -one on the goalie. Off to the pass back to Alchemy. Alchemy now going back to Blitz. Blitz going up to Will I am. Doesn't connect. And now collected by Gilligan. Gilligan looking for uh, an in pass maybe to Will. Doesn't connect on it. And uh, J.L. Graham sends it back out but into the hands of Gilligan. Gilligan down to the floor to the Blitz and then off of the head of the goalie. I believe that was Callan in goal. But now still, Wireless Jacks with it. And you give them too many opportunities, they will succeed. And they did their Blitz with the two points from the nest area. And, uh, yeah, I apologize for the stream title. I do not believe that is something I can adjust. And because of how quickly... We made the swap over. I forgot to request someone to adjust it, so uh, I'm not going to be able to do that unless this uh, change title button. I believe there was a button for it, but I don't know if it actually works. So I'll pay stream title. If that fixes it, it does. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Uh, but I believe that is out of my hands. So now, Gilligan with the disc does get the pass down to Blitz, but then another headbutt save there, I believe again by Callan. Now in the hands of CJ, and CJ opts for a dump, uh, probably a dump and chase. Trying to get there. They don't get there first, but still not in the hands of Will. Will now with the disc does have Captain Will on his feet. Captain Will does get the stun, but not before Will I Am gets the clear. So now disc loose, picked up by Callan. Callan opting to toss it right back down into the wireless jack zone. And the race for it, CJ Jason does end up with it, and he's able to put it in on the goalie for the two. And that there is the speed of this milk team. Uh, how dangerous that can be. You've got to be quick. If they if they throw that clear down, you either got to stop them up or uh, slow them down. And uh, we see now they are up by two with just over seven to go. Now, Will, I am with the disc. Delayed launch. That is intentional. Uh, Gilligan takes a pass up to Alchemy. Alchemy goes cross to Blitz on that left side shoulder. Blitz able to bring that one in for two to tie this one up here. What a beautiful set play there by Wireless Shacks, executed wonderfully. Now Milk with the Joust advantage, disc taken by Callan. Callan cross pass to the near side wall to C. Jason. C. Jason sending it through down to Captain Will. Captain Will gets stunned out by that quick chain of Wireless Jacks. Gilligan gets a pass back to his goalie. Will I am now. Trying to send it down, but intercepted by C. Jason. Looking at an empty net. Doesn't connect on it. And now Disc is loose on the near side wall as they race for it. Picked up by the Alchemy. Alchemy looks for, uh, not sure what he did there, but sends it down to mid middle. Uh, J.L. Graham picks that one up. Excuse me. Uh, someone on Milk picked it up to J.L. Graham. J.L. Graham to Captain Will. Captain Will back to C. Jason. C. Jason now looking over his options. Pass down to Captain Will. Captain Will. Some great... Patient passing here by Milk as they look for their attack opportunities and look for the cross pass there. Captain Will was and doesn't connect on his boy. I believe that was Callan. Excuse me, uh, C. Jason, who was cutting in there. Doesn't connect on the pass and now dumped down back into the Milk zone. Will be picked up by Milk. C. Jason, C. Jason sending it down the tube into the... Wireless Jack zone, but picked up by Alchemy. Alchemy trying to get the pass over to Blitz. Doesn't connect with it. And now the disc is loose. There will be a brawl, and it's slapped back into the Wireless Jack zone. But now picked up by the goalie, Will I Am. Will I Am sending it to the right tube for Blitz. Blitz now looking for looking over his options. Goes to that high, long pass over to Alchemy. Doesn't connect on it. It is loose, and it will be picked up by CJ. Jason. maybe 
Yes, slapped out by CJ Jason or JL Graham, and now in their trap area here. Pass back to Will I Am from, I believe that was Gilligan. Will I Am down to the floor to the Alchemy, but stunned out very quickly. Great read there by Captain Will as he stuns out Alchemy and gets that dump all the way back down to the Wireless Shack zone. Wireless Shack's there first, but they don't get the disc, nor do they get to the goal, and they don't cover that lane. And it is Callan getting there first, picking that one up, putting it in for that two, now with under five remaining in this round one. Now, Wireless Jacks with the Jealous Advantage. Will I Am, quick pass over to, uh, I believe that was Blitz. Blitz back to Will I Am. Just a quick touch and go there between the two of them. Trying to get it downfield. Gilligan was looking for Occam. He doesn't connect. Will I Am does pick up that clear attempt over to Blitz. Blitz up to Gilligan. Gilligan streaking on goal off the backboard, but dings it off the post. But then Will I Am picking up the trash, taking it out. It's Sunday night. They're coming Monday morning to pick that up. And it's good for two to tie it up with just over four. Now Milk with the joust advantage. Allen with the disc looks over his options, goes to the far side wall there, looking for, I believe that is JL Graham. JL Graham finally wrangles that disc and gets a far side, near side pass to CJ. And CJ moving through middle does get stunned out, but. Dale Graham able to pick up that disc, and now a little bit of a race for it. Well, I am gets a slap over to his teammate. I believe that is Blitz. Blitz hands off to Gilligan. Gilligan going back to Will. I am going to take their time here. Try to open the defense up a little bit, and they do successfully. Alchemy does receive that pass. Goes far side. Uh, I'm not sure it was intended for, but picked up by Gilligan. Gilligan now uh, no pass options. At least as far as he could see, does get stunned out, but then Blitz able to pick that trash up. Tries to send it down. Alchemy stunned out by JL Graham, but now picked up by Blitz. A lot of back and forth here. Blitz over to Gilligan. Gilligan uncontested as he moves in one-on-one -on -one with the goalie. And what a save there by Callan. One-on-one with Gilligan. And that one gets sent all the way back down into the wireless jack zone. And for anybody just joining, uh, I am unfortunately not able to change the title of the streams. And because of how quickly we made that transition, I forgot to ask anybody to do it for me. So, uh, unfortunately, the stream is titled incorrectly. Uh, but uh, also, unfortunately, that is out of my hands, uh, per se. Now, well, I am with the disc doing some duking, jiving, and jodging. Through that tube, does get it through to, uh, I believe that was, was that Blitz? Uh, but maybe not quite so as it sent back into the trap area of the milk zone. Picked up now by Gilligan. Gilligan a little juking and jodging of, him, of his own. Big pass up to Alchemy. Alchemy going far side to Will I Am. Will I Am looking for the cutting man. He has Blitz on the floor. Blitz, oh, looking for Alchemy up in the sky, but doesn't quite connect on it, and as he gets to it, he gets stunned out, and now it is in the hands of JL Graham. JL Graham sending it down, looking at the open net, doesn't connect on it, gets a second opportunity, and it does go in for three off of the backboard. Can't do it the first time. Got to make sure you do it the second time, and he does it. And uh, what a great shot there by JL Graham from 22 meters out. That is the end of... Uh, that is a... Rematch, and I believe that was 9-6, to six, but I'm not sure what happened. <laughs> that sucks. Uh, so, oh, I guess CJ dropped there right after, uh, either right before that or right after that. So we're looking for him to come back. Unfortunately, uh, that ruins the stats for the stream, but we do have that, uh, that overlay here. It looks like we're working on the old version of the overlay, so the overlay is not currently working as far as I can tell uh, oh, or because of the reset it stopped working and uh, this could be a good moment to explain the difference so in the rules there are two different situations in which you can stop the time uh, pretty much stop the clock and uh, neither of them are referred to as timeouts well per se uh, what you actually have are uh, well I guess you have a timeout uh, which can take place between the games uh, and anybody can take that time out for any reason whatsoever at any time but you only get one per game uh, that's one per uh, best of three uh, and it can be up to five minutes uh, and then the other one what we just witnessed here this is not a timeout this is known as a, uh, a 
a reset, I think, or a restart. Yes, a restart in the rule book. So what just happened here is a restart, uh, colloquially, colloquially referred to as a tech timeout, uh, but officially in the rule book is referred to as a restart. And that is what makes it different from a timeout. A timeout is taken between rounds uh, for any reason, whereas a restart is due to tech issues uh, that are out of your control. Is now currently Rox Titan is in the game, uh, and I would, I am unsure as to why. Maybe check the Discord, see if there's anybody talking about what's going on there. Uh, I don't believe so. Yeah, no callouts or substitutes or anything, so I'm not sure why Rox is here. Uh, nobody pinging me. And, uh,. In a second. Okay, looks like Rox is asking if he can sub for a team halfway through a match. One of them drops. Okay, and he just directed uh, uh, Exhibit here. So Exhibit, if you're watching, it looks like, um, I believe it was C-Jason dropped, and I guess they were trying to sub him. But now I see C-Jason in the game. So I'm not entirely certain... What the actual situation is. Uh, maybe we can unmute. Well, they're talking about it. And of course, you guys can hear anything they say as well. So hopefully, they keep it clean, and I, I'm sure they will. Cleanish, at least. I guess CJ uh, is is suffering from repeated crashes, so they're asking. They're currently asking if it's okay if Rocks Titan fills in in the middle of a game. Presumably, that is getting worked out. Looks like. Rox is back out. Are we going to continue with the Jason here? And now I'm not sure if the players are muted or not. They haven't been talking. So for anybody who may just be joining us, uh, which I wouldn't believe is very many, uh, we have a currently have a restart. C Jason has been crashing. They were looking for a sub for him for a moment, and then it would have been Rox Titan. Uh, but Rock Titan has since left the game. Uh, but I believe there's still some deliberation occurring in the Discord about subs. All right, we're almost ready. Yeah, I read that, so we're good. So it looks like we may be getting started here again shortly. Orange team ready. Teams have, re uh, excuse me, Orange Team is readied up. Both teams are now readied up. And it looks like the disc is going to start on the side of Wireless Jacks. I believe this is right after uh, J.L. Graham got that 22 meter three to take Milk Up 9 to 6. So now Milk Up 9 to 6 with a minute 44 remaining. Wireless Jacks with the Joust advantage. Will I am with the disc goes down to that near uh, the, the, the floor side triangle there, but interception, beautiful interception there. By uh, Captain Will. Captain Will now under heavy pressure. Gets a pass back over to... Who is that? Callan. Callan now. Deep pass. Deep pass to CJ. And CJ looking for a very dangerous pass over there to... Uh, I believe that was Captain Will. Uh, almost intercepted, but now wrangled in again. Callan getting the pass down to JL Graham. JL Graham looking for his options. Uh, but you can't wait that long with Gilligan right near you. Gilligan will stun you out, and he does there. Uh, and he gets the... Uh, the clear down into that uh, the wireless shacks left tube area and then continued all the way down and then what a bounce there what a fortunate bounce on the way in uh, i believe that may have gone off the sign unfortunately i do not have a replay ability capability right now as my obs decided uh, i didn't want it to work the moment i just i started my stream uh as 30 minutes prior it was working just fine so i'm not sure what happened there uh, so i do apologize for not having that replay ready but what a fortunate and necessary goal here for the wireless shacks to go up tied nine to nine with only 30 seconds remaining in round one Blue catches the enemy. 
Now Gilligan with the disc. Gilligan under pressure does get the pass down to Will I Am. Will I Am look at cross to Blitz. Blitz down one on one with the goalie. Can he get that in? Cross pass to Will doesn't connect on it. Maybe should have just gone for the the uh, one on one there. Uh, but still, uh, 50 seconds to remaining. While the Jacks don't control, Will I Am slap pass up to Blitz. Blitz going back to Akami. Akami does bring it in for the two with only seven seconds remaining. This round one will go to the wireless Jacks. Just a moment as I put these scores in here. 9 to 11. Now we will go to the scoreboard. Round one, end. Wow, what a uh, what an exciting end to that round one. Wireless Shacks able to pick up uh, that momentum again. And obviously, you see highlights there at the bottom. There are no highlights for this game uh, because I am bad at my job. Well... OBS is bad at its job. Like I said, I did I did check to make sure everything was working uh, before the uh, uh, what game was that? Uh, whatever that game, uh, I'd have to look it up. I can't remember off the top of my head. Whatever that game was to start us off this night, I did check it up. Check it. I did check to make sure everything was working uh, before that game started. And of course, the moment I uh, I get a cast, something breaks. Just like uh, yesterday, uh, thirty minutes before our first game of the season. Uh, my my controller stopped giving uh, that that vibrating haptic feedback, uh, which was um, kind of a little disorienting, and uh, it happened in the preseason as well. Uh, my CV one decided to stop working uh, literally 15 minutes before one of our games during preseason. But that seems to be the way uh, tech works for me in uh, VRML. Is uh, it will break the moment I start doing something after having checked it several times. Uh, but now we are. Getting ready to go here. It looks like a uh, blue team is ready to up. Doesn't say so up at the top there, uh, but on the the uh, screen in front of the blue goal there, you can kind of see uh, blue was ready. Orange is now readying up. So we will go back to uh, gameplay, and uh, hopefully that worked. Did because uh, giving me some problems there for a moment. But, all right, we have our first joust of. Oh, we got to do plus one. Two. Did that work? I don't believe it did. There we go. Plus one to wireless shacks. And here we go, start of round two. And the Joust one, handily by the Wireless Shacks, gets into the hands of Will I Am. Will I Am goes up to Blitz. Blitz off the backboard, but what a save there by Callan. Callan now sending it out to that left tube area. Doesn't quite get it out and out. Bounce to the near side wall here in this near side trap. Picked up by the Alchemy. Alchemy uh, maybe going for a shot, or maybe that was just a, a panic clear. Uh, but now the disc is loose, uh, slapped by Will I Am over to Gilligan. Gilligan going up to Blitz. Bl Blitz going across to Alchemy. Alchemy going back to Blitz. Doesn't connect on it. Gilligan trying to get the hands on it. Doesn't. Intercepted by the defense, who are able to send it out to that left tube. Maybe a few too many passes there, as there are a couple good opportunities. And oh my goodness, see Jason able to turn that turnover into a 27 meter three, 18 meters a second. 18 meters a second, not bad by him there. What a great shot by CJ. Jason. An unfortunate turnover for the Wireless Shacks. Milk now up by three, one minute into this game. Now Wireless Shacks with the joust advantage. Well, I am. Gets a pass, short pass over to Gilligan on the left side station. Gilligan taking his time. Looks for the deep pass there to Blitz. Does connect. Blitz going across to Alchemy. Alchemy bringing it right into the goal. Kind of what I was hoping we would have seen in that play prior to this one that led to that C. Jason goal. And now we see it here executed beautifully. Beautifully here by Wiley Shacks as they are now within one. So now Milk with the joust advantage picked up by Callan. Callan going near side wall to see Jason. See Jason looking for the mid pass goes far side wall there to JL Graham. JL Graham going deep into the blue territory to Captain Will. Captain Will right back to JL Graham. It looks at an empty net. Doesn't connect on it. Does bounce off of the screen there. Now Corral here by Callan. Callan under pressure. Quick pass over to Jail Graham. Jail Graham. Quick pass to C. Jason who cuts in. And oh, what a save there by Will I Am. Will I Am getting the, uh, well, a clear attempt. Doesn't quite go out right into the hands of Callan. Callan looking for C. Jason deep in the blue zone. Doesn't connect on it. And uh, now in the hands of Blitz. But oh, no, off the head. Off of, uh, I believe, Jail Graham. But then picked up quickly by Gilligan. Going back to the goalie. But then right into the hands of C. Jason. 
who gets an easy empty net three there from nine meters out. Unfortunate turn of events, but there are a couple opportunities, a couple situations where wireless jacks try to send it out of their bubble, and it goes right into the hands or the heads of Team Milk here. Unfortunate for wireless jacks now down by four. The jacks here with the jealous advantage. Well, I am another quick pass to Gilligan on that. Uh, that near side station. Gilligan does connect with Akami eventually. Akami trying to get the pass back to Blitz, but gets stunned out before he can con complete the throw. Now Gilligan chasing this one back in his own zone. Does have a does have a chain on him. Does get one of them stunned, presumably with a shield. Dumps it back and some quick passes here from the wireless shacks. Will I am now with the disc on that far side too. Well I am going to the floor to Akami. Doesn't quite connect on it. And Callan comes out of the goal to slap that one away. It will be a race here. Picked up by JL Graham. He's able to dump it back into, excuse me, it was a pass down to Captain Will in the blue zone. Who goes for the empty net, doesn't connect on it, and now it's headed back to mid. I picked up by Callan. Callan sending it in into the blue bubble. Maybe going for a bounce shot but with all those defenders there. Uh, not, probably not going to happen. And so now uh, Wireless Jack's able to bring this one out of their zone. Will I am just walking it in. Looking at an empty net, possibly. No, excuse me. There is a goalie on goal. And now another pass down to Akami on the floor there. Doesn't connect. Picked up by uh, JL Graham, who sends it immediately back down into the Wireless Jack zone. Now picked up by Akami. Akami uh, taking his time, looking over his options. Going to walk it as far as he can. And draws that defender out. Gets a quick pass to Will I Am, But Will I Am uh, takes a, a, an extra moment there to wrangle it in, which gives C. Jason enough time to get to him there. C. Jason picks that one up. And throws it back into the blue zone. And now JL Graham with the disc. JL Graham with a, a very dangerous pass to see Jason who waiting on the ceiling. Who just brings that one in for that two from behind the goal to bring it within six now. Or excuse me, bring take them up by six now. It will be wireless shacks with the joust advantage again here. Uh, Cam Jam asking if Blitz is a sub. No, Blitz is a new member on the roster taking uh, the place of Lemon QT. So, uh, neither of these teams are uh, currently playing with subs. I'm not sure what happened to Lemon. Uh, I believe he just uh, didn't want to, uh, or I don't believe he was able to participate in comp uh, this season. Um, I may have had something to, school, to do with school. I'm not entirely certain. But yeah, so now a big brawl for the disc here on the near side wall. Gilligan does come away with it. Goes for a pass back, but nobody there. Picked up by C. Jason, who bounces it towards the goal. Well, I am a race for it, but JL Graham gets there first. And with the slap, gets it in for the two. And they are now up by eight, 10 to two in this round two. And it was round one, did go to the wireless jacks. So if Milk is able to pull this one out here in game two, in round two, we will go to a round three as we are in now, excuse me, a proper best of three format. Now the Alchemy with the disc goes to the right tube to Blitz. Blitz uh, maybe trying to get it to Will, but doesn't connect, but Will able to wrangle that one in. Will look for a deep pass there over to Blitz. Blitz going up to Gilligan. Gilligan cutting in on the goalie, and what a shot there by Gil as he comes in and uh, sweeps that arm down, hooks it down low. Right on the edge, beautiful edge, there, edge, beautiful edge work there by Gilligan uh, to bring his team within six. So now Milk with the joust advantage. Allen taken out quickly, but not before he gets that pass off to that right side tube, the near side tube to, J to excuse me, near side tube to Jason. Jason dumps it into the wireless shack zone. Picked up by Akami. Akami maybe looking for a dump pass there, hoping for, I believe that's Blitz, but doesn't connect with it. So Callan does get the clear back down into the Jack zone. That one down into the Jack's bubble. Good race there. Captain Will with it. No goalie in net yet. Goalie trying to get there. And oh, what a that pass doesn't connect to C. Jason behind the goal there, but they are still in control of it. C. Jason cuts in off the shield with a pass from jail. Graham to put it in for that two to keep them ahead by eight. What a play there by the boys in milk. Now, Wireless Shacks again with the disc. Will I am down to the floor to Gilligan. Gilligan to the right tube to Blitz. Blitz going back across to Will. Will looking for that deep pass, pass 
Deep pass back to Blitz. Doesn't connect on it. Blitz, that name is killing me, bro. I'm telling you. Oh, it's so hard. Okay, so a dump now back into the Wireless Shack zone. A race for it. Milk is there first. And oh, what a save there by Blitz. Gets it just in time to stop that one from going in. And now a back pass from Gilligan. Excuse me, I believe that was Alchemy back to Gilligan. Gilligan trying to send it through mid. And uh, Callan not able to connect with it. So Gilligan again. Now trying to get to that disc. And unfortunately just can't get his hand on it. Oh, that's so so awful to see. You know he's so frustrated right now after the happening. Uh, but he, the, the titular professional, uh, you know, his head's already back in the game as they dump it now towards that screen. Picked up by Gilligan again. Gilligan uh, looking over his pass options. Well, what a juke by Gilligan for the pass up to Blitz. I believe that was, or excuse me, that wasn't Blitz, but Blitz doesn't end up with it off of a, a defensive fumble and uh, able to put that one in to bring his team within six. So now Milk with the Joust Advantage. Callan with the far side pass. Look for Jail Graham. Doesn't connect on it. Does receive his own pass, however. Does finally able to shovel it up to Captain Will. Captain Will taking his time. Moving in slowly. Uh, looking over his option. Up for the pass back to CJ. So CJ so now moving in. Has plenty of room to work with as he moves all the way up to the bubble. Walks in on goal. One-on-one -on -one against Will. Will does make an incredible save there on him. And then picked up by Alchemy. Alchemy able to send it all the way back out to mid. And now still in their zone. A slap out attempt uh, by some player on Wiley's Jacks. But unfortunately bounces right back into their zone again. Picked up by J.L. Graham. J.L. Graham with the pass. Excuse me. Uh, was picked up by uh, 17. Uh, J.L. Graham. I'm not sure who it was picked up by. But <laughs> J.L. Graham. Uh, pass it to somebody, and now it's in the hands of Callan. Callan now, taking his time, going to let that clock run. They know uh, they're up by six, and uh, at this point, we may be out of mathematical time, but what a steal there by Gilligan. Gilligan, uh, as, as I am uh, very aware, is not a fan of the clock games, and uh, so makes everybody aware of that as he gets a great steal. And so Wallace Shacks with one more drive here in on the goal, off the backboard. Oh, but what a save by the goalie. I believe that was Callan. Uh, excuse me, that was Captain Will with the save, but then Will I am able to pick that one right back up and put it right back in, uh, bring his team within four, but unfortunately, we are going to be out of time here, and round two will be going to Milk. 12 to 8. And that's the round, and Orin takes the win. As well, I'm not sure what's going on with the bot. Oh, you know what? I probably don't have. I don't know why it's like that. All right then. So yeah, what a what a uh, what a back and forth game uh, this has been so far. Wireless Jacks taking round one, 11 and nine. Milk taking round two, 12 to eight. And yeah. So uh, we are going to a round three, as this is a best of three uh, series. All the series in season one are a proper best of three. So had Wireless Jacks taken that round two, this game would be over. Uh, but they did not, so we will see a game three here. Let's see if uh, while we wait, it's like that other game has ended, and I unfortunately did not catch. I was not paying attention to what happened. So I'm not sure what happened in the other game that was going on at this time. Uh, but now we get set for oh, round three as CJ drops at launch. Unfortunate timing here for a milk as they dump it into the wireless jack zone. Will I am is there to pick that one up on that far side wall. Gets a pass over to Gilligan. Gilligan looking for his man in the trench area. Does connect to Akami. Akami going far side pass to Will I Am. Will I Am going up to the ceiling, but unfortunately nobody there yet. Blitz getting stunned out, unable to get back to it. And it now will be a fight and brawl for this disc. Still loose, but now picked up by Gilligan. Gilligan going past Akami, who's in the bubble, but goalie comes out. Callan it was to stun the to stun Akami. Brockman can get a shot off, and now it is Captain Will with the disc. 
Trying to get that one through center. Yeah, Doesn't. Gosh. Picked up by Alchemy. Gets back into the hands of Blitz. Blitz dumping it back in. Picked up by Callan. Callan sending it back out. I did hear a join, so we should see. Yep. See Jason will be here. Again, any moment, and oh my goodness, what an opportunity there by JL Graham off the backboard. It doesn't connect with the empty net, and so, but that is enough time. I did hear C. Jason come out of the tube, so C. Jason is back. As now, Will I am with the disc, and uh, goalie comes out, no, uh, but Will I am not able to connect on that blitz. Look for the pass to Alchemy on that backside wall. It doesn't connect. It is intercepted, and now JL Graham will send it out back into the Wilder Shack zone, and uh, I will take a minute now uh, to take a drink as my throat is getting dry. An unfortunate timing as that was, as Captain Will gets down there with that disc unchallenged on the empty goal and uh, does uh, what you might expect someone to do is just kind of burn some time before uh, somebody actually comes to challenge him to finally put that one in. So now Milk up 2-0. Wireless Jacks feeding that one down all the way. We've seen this play before and oh, unfortunately Blitz not able to uh, capitalize on that as he came in on the goal, but now uh, Blitz with the disc goes over to Alchemy. Alchemy looking for Gilligan on the other shoulder there. Doesn't connect with it. Unfortunate as now picked up by JL Graham. JL Graham tries to dump it, but picked up by Blitz. Blitz reads that dump. Uh, back up to Will, and Will able to put that one in for two to tie this one up with seven and a half. And you are correct. Score one to one. There we go. Now it is Milk with the joust advantage. Milk comes out. Callan. Ooh, Callan challenged, but still able to get that pass off. Doesn't get stunned out. But will I am there to uh, to receive that disc? Uh, so turnover immediately on that joust from Milk into the hands of uh, the wireless jacks. The Alchemy there looking for somebody up in the trap area there, but nobody there. Gail Graham trying to slap it into the tube. Doesn't get it into the tube. Still in the trap area. Will I am trying to, excuse me, Captain Will trying to send it through. The, uh, the area there, two wills, is very is, is not as difficult as you would think it would be, but still not easy. So pass over to Blitz, excuse me, Gilligan. But Gilligan, uh, uncharacteristically, getting stunned out himself. And it looks like CJ has dropped again. Unfortunate for Milk, but still some great making some opportunities from himself here. Uh, but both JL Graham and Captain Will getting stunned out as they both tried to move around with that disc in that bubble area. So now picked up by Callan. Callan. Going over to Captain, hand off to Captain Will. Captain Will gets a pass over to Jail Graham with the duck. And oh, tries for the anchor shot, but the hands on Will I am will not let it happen. So now Wireless Jacks looking for the empty net shot. Don't quite connect on it. Callan panic clearing it right down center here. So it's picked up, almost picked up by Wireless Jacks. Uh, unfortunately, nobody actually picks it up. And it sounded like somebody else has already left, so maybe uh, C. Jason had it rejoined and immediately crashed again. Uh, but now Wiley Shaxx, there still has not been a goal since uh, C. Jason dropped last, however. Now the Alchemy. Over to, excuse me, Will I Am. Will I Am look for Gilligan on the shield, but doesn't connect with it, and goalie slaps it right back out. And now picked up again by Blitz, as they do effectively have a four on three power play here. Uh, until C. Jason gets back into the game. So pass up to Gilligan. Gilligan down to Alchemy on the floor. Alchemy up to Blitz who cuts in and puts it in for that two. To take him up four to two with five and a half remaining. We will see what happens here. I'm not sure uh, if you get a second uh, restart in a game series. Uh, so we may see this one just play out as is. And uh, hopefully Milk can get C. Jason back into the game. Uh, sounds like he did just join. So we should see him any moment here. Now Callan uh, passing one that. Passing that one, trying looking for someone at mid. Maybe JL Graham doesn't connect on it, so it will be picked up by Alchemy. And C. Jason has rejoined, so we should see him here any moment. Looking for that 88 on the mini map. And now, Wireless Shacks with the disc. Blitz down to Gilligan. Gilligan able to pop that one in, dinging it with emotion. Putting it in, taking him up by four, six to two. And I do see four names in. The milk tube, so milk will be coming out with their full roster, including C. Jason here, as they have a jealous advantage down by four or four and a half to go. Callan stunned out immediately, and Wireless Shacks puts that one in for another 
two. That has to be a little bit demoralizing here for Mill because they just got their fourth player back. And on that first joust advantage with that fourth player back, uh, they get stunned out immediately. And uh, that's the, the, basically a pick six or uh, a stun two. I don't know. We need a name for that. But yeah, saw there to bring Wireless Shacks up by six. So Callan, Callan kind of aggressively throwing that one to the right tube there. And it does connect and then pass up to Captain Will. Captain Will looking deep, far side. To JL Graham. JL Graham going back to Callan. Callan looking over his options, trying to draw that defense out. Does get the pass back up to JL Graham. JL Graham moving in, looking for a cut pass. Doesn't have one. He does. Captain Will, but Captain Will can't handle it quite well enough. But JL Graham picks it right back up and anchors it in for a. Was that a two? That was a two. Wireless Shacks with the Joust Advantage up by four with just over three to go. Pass over right tube to Gilligan. Gilligan looking far side cross pass to the other side of the arena to Blitz. Does connect on it. Blitz goes for Gilligan. Gilligan gets stopped by the shield. And I'm only laughing because I know he would laugh at me if I did the same thing. Uh, pretty sure he has laughed at me for doing the same thing. Getting stuck on shield like that with the disc. It's so unfortunate. He had such a good opportunity there. And so now it will be a, a scramble for the disc as it's still loose. Captain Will overshooting, picked up by Gilligan, then stolen by Callan. Callan going far side to uh, C. Jason. C. Jason cross pass to JL Graham with the goalie coming out to challenge. Doesn't quite get his hands on it, and JL Graham is able to put that in for two to bring it within two. Now with only two and a half to go, will be 229 as they come out of the tube here. Wilder Shacks with the just advantage. So will I am with the disc. Just for that short pass to Gilligan on that on that station there. Gilligan gets a deep pass successfully to Blitz. Blitz one-on-one -on -one with the goalie. Let's see what he does with it. Oh, he goes for the shot, uh, but maybe a little bit far out. And goalie able to make the save on that. I believe that was Callan. And able to dump it all the way back into the wireless jacks zone here. So now it is. Uh, I'm not sure what happened there. Uh, but we've got JL Graham with the disc. JL Graham goes across. Far side to see Jason. See Jason to Callan, who's sitting just under the goal, unchallenged. In fact, with his own player right next to him, unable to pop that one in to tie this one up here with under two to go. It will be one minute 36 seconds on the launch. So, one and a half minutes here for Wireless Shacks or Milk to uh, score another goal and try to get the lead here in the last minute. So, pass down to Gilligan. Gilligan looking for, uh, I believe that was Blitz over there. Uh, doesn't connect so well. I am going back to goal. I'm not able to get his hand on that disc. But Captain Will tap pass back to Callan. Callan going up to CJ. Some, such a dangerous position. But CJ over to Callan. Uh, excuse me, JL Graham, but then a uh, potential save by Will I Am that might have been a ding, anyways. But still, Will I Am able to grab that disc and I sent it out. But back into the hands of Milk. So a pass down to Captain Will. Captain Will up to JL Graham as he cuts in and puts it in for the two to go up by two. With only a minute remaining, and if my math is correct, it will just be about 45 seconds. I believe about 44 seconds as Wireless Shacks needs to make something happen here on this next play if they want to come back. Will I am with the disc. Will I am going to the near side floor there to Akami. Akami going to Gilligan. Right back to Ak. Ak looking for its pass options. Does have the... the Challenge on him. Pass back to Will. Back up to Ockamy. Ockamy moving in one-on-one -on -one with the goalie. What's he going to do? He does a little juke. Oh, goes for the high, uh, low percentage shot area shot. Doesn't connect on it. It is dumped back out. There are still 20 seconds, so it's still possible for Jackson to get down here, get this one kick quick, and send it back down. But unfortunately, it is C. Jason who is, picks that one up. He does wait to put it in. It's going to let that clock run. Make sure it puts it in for the two. And with a little bit of a ding, maybe not. In uh, the best of, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> best of intentions, the, the, the little ding there. But it is what it is. And Milk will take the win. This game win. This game victory over Wireless Shacks 12-8. to eight. So I will go ahead and uh, let's see. We will take us to the end screen. I'm not going to be too long here. 12-8. to eight. Just going to pop these in. So we get a finalized score screen. Because I know I like to come back and reference these from time to time as well. Double check what has been going on with my own team and i am not 84 oh i keep hitting the wrong button i'm gonna go to eight there we go 
This should be good to go. Yes, 12 to 8, 12 to 8. Oh, wow. Very interesting to see game two and game three go 12 to 8 uh, for both. And then that was Wilder Shaq taking game one, 11 to 9. So, with that all being said, I'm not going to hold you long. We're not going to go over stats and all that. Uh, we do want to get to that uh, the, the other games going on here. So, I, that will be it for us tonight on VRML 2. Uh, and the remainder of the matches should be casted on VRML 1 for the remainder of the evening. I believe the last game uh, is, is starting at 10 Eastern, I, I'm fairly certain. Uh, so, yeah.